It's your girl TP. You know we had to do it. We back with another one. Who are we talking about today? We're talking about the Suns and the Jazz and the Mavs versus the King. First thing first, who are we gonna dive in today? I think I'm gonna start off with the Mavs and the Kings. Now, the Kings wanted to win and they did. <laughs> Um, they beat the Mavs, and you know, the Mavs, they started off strong. They're still doing good. Don't get me wrong, but the Kings, they just wanted to come out on top, and that's just what happened. So, some people that I want to acknowledge in this video would be Sabonis, with him having 32 points, 13 rebounds, and 6 assists. And I just want to say, he has been doing his thing lately. Um, I watched him the other night, and I'm like, okay... Like, I really haven't really watched the Kings besides last season in the playoffs, but I really feel like this year in the playoffs, they are definitely going to make it out of the first round. Um, I don't know how far they're going to get, but I for sure, like, Mike Brown, as far as their coaching, he's doing a fantastic job with them. And I just feel like they are young and they are hungry. And I think they're like, we got knocked out the first round. Like, we got to come harder this season. And I feel like that's what they've been doing. And I enjoy, you know, seeing that. And then, of course, we got to talk about De'Aaron Fox, him having 30 points, 7 assists. And I think he always puts up big stats every game. Um, he's very, I think he's very consistent and the way that he plays, the stats are always statting. <laughs> but they're always high, and he just gives it his all gives it his all every single game, is how I feel. And I feel like they're just gonna continue to grow and continue to get better. And like just great things are gonna happen for them. And like I said, I feel like they're gonna make it far in the playoffs. Um, we have a lot of great contenders on the West that I feel like it's like, oh my gosh, like who's going to take, you know, the final, the final thing. I don't know. I mean, I know it's still early. It's only November and the season just started, but it's just like seeing them play and seeing like how hungry the tenacity of them. And it's just like big ups to them. Like I love that for them. And like I said, they just going to continue to get better as the season progress, as years progress and their chemistry is there. And I love what I see. So now we're going to flip it over to Dallas. Of course, they did not come out on top. And I love me some Kyrie. Kyrie, he only finished with 23 points last night. Not quiet, but he has he have had better games, I should say. Um, I have nothing negative to say about Kyrie. I love his game. I love the way he plays. I love for what he stands for. Um, I love that he's strong-minded. Uh, what else? Even when he was with Brooklyn and all the shenanigans was going on, it was like, that's just what he believed. That's what he believed. That's what he believed. He has a voice. Um, even when I met him last season, or in January, yeah, last season, he was very humble. He was sweet. Like I said, I have nothing negative to say about him. So it was like, I didn't like how the industry tried to portray him as a bad, quote unquote, bad guy, because it's like, that's not what he, that's not, that's not Kyrie. Um, is what I have to say about that. And then we had Luca going off for 25 points, 10 rebounds, and he had seven assists. But with them, I feel like when they're both hot, they're both hot, and they're not, like, they carry each other. They have chemistry, and it's like they both move, like, cohesive. Like, they move together um, when they play, and it's like I enjoy seeing that. And I think that's what I was saying when it comes to the Bucks with Dane and Giannis, like it's either sometimes one person is hot and then the next person is not. And it's like, they both have to be hot at the same time. It's how I feel when it comes to playing together, y'all being the two leaders of the team, um, not trying to dive too much into the books, but I did want to just give like a little comparison between the two. I feel like with Luca and with Kyrie, they both hot at the same time. And I like that for them. Um, but Dallas, they have been, they started off strong. So, even though they lost last night, it's all right. Their season, I feel like they're going to continue just to get better as well. Nothing negative to say about Dallas. Uh, I'm going to have to find a game to go to. I don't know who I want to watch with them when they play Dallas. Um, when they play. When Dallas play. Let's start there. 
Uh, but that's all I have for the game. Like I said, both teams playing defense, but obviously the Kings came out on top. And now we're flipping it over to the Suns uh, with KD. Y'all know that's my boy. But Suns winning by three, double overtime, two times. <laughs> double overtime, and that just shows you the defense on both teams. You know, very high game, high point game, I should say. 140 points, 137. Um, oh, I lost my third. The Jazz losing by three. I couldn't get it out. The Jazz, they look, they look, definitely lost by three, but they definitely stayed with it, and they wanted to win. Just did not happen. <laughs> it just did not. It just didn't happen for them. We have my boy KD going off for 39 points, eight rebounds, and 10 assists. Almost a triple-double, not quite there, but... He since he started this season started he has been putting up high stats every single game like you got to give my boy his credit when it's due um, and he's a vet in the game 35 years old and still playing great and he's still keeping up with the youngins you know what I mean and I love that for him because he's just gonna get better whenever he time it's time to retire like he's going to get definitely that credit um, and I just I just love the way he played that mid range jumper. I ain't going to call it 100%, but it's definitely 99.9. .9. He's going to make that shot. And that's just what it is when he plays. Like, it's just like, oh, give me a mid-range. I'm shooting this. I'm making this and getting back down. Down court. And then we got D-Book. He went off for 26 points, five rebounds, and eight assists. Um, same thing with them. When they play together, they both have high stats. It's never like, oh, KD did this, and then D-Book didn't do this. It's like they, they are cohesive as well. The chemistry is there. We just missing our missing link, which is Bradley Bill. So we got a three out of three. Y'all know I talk about it all the time. Um, so hopefully, you know, when he comes back, he's nice, he's healthy, and he's looking good. And then they all can come together, building that chemistry with him in line as well because – it's only been like one game with all three and I want to see what they do I want to see how far they make it into the playoffs because yes they will make it there and I just want to see that and then I also want to give props to Nurik <laughs> Nurik <laughs> he had 18 points last night and he had 12 rebounds which I thought was pretty good for him um putting up some pretty big stats as well staying in there defense great all things because sometimes well, when I watched him he Sometimes, like, when I was at the game, I was like, why is he taking someone to shoot the ball? But last night, we didn't have that. So, big ups to them, winning. And now we're switching it up to the Jazz. The player of the Jazz goes to Mark Cannon. 38 points, 17 rebounds, high stats. And I'm like, do your thing. Do your, <laughs> do your thing. Um, but he, you know, great stats. And that just shows you that he was playing defense, that he wanted to win. You know, and obviously they did not, that did not happen, but it was a great game, like, to go into double overtime and for you to put those high stats up. And then we had Clarkson with 22 points, and then he had seven rebounds. Um, the last game, I think he had a bigger game than that uh, when they played the Suns on Friday. But it was still a great game. And I want to give props to the player off of the bench, and that's THT. I don't know why they – I mean, I know that's his initials – Better known as Tylen, <laughs> coming off the bench with 25 points. So those are some big numbers for him. So kudos to you for that. If someone did not praise you, I am praising you today for putting up those stats. You deserve it. Y'all didn't win, but it was definitely a great fight for the game. Y'all, that's all I had. The people outside is mowing the lawn in the back, so I was trying to make my video as fast as possible. But please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am TB. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification bells so you guys can be notified when I post. Peace out. Bye. Have a great day.